Good day! Welcome to Iron Sky Signal. This is Timo Voransola, director, and I'm here today with a special guest who just arrived to Finland after 33 hours flight from Australia. Christopher Kirby. And Christopher Kirby is going to be playing uh, the second male lead of the film in, in, in the film, obviously, Iron Sky. Uh, Chris, how's Finland so far? It's, um, it's interesting. I mean, uh, the people actually find are actually quite um, curious. Well, you know, it's not like, I guess, I'm not necessarily the boy next door, but then again, you know, it's always like, hey, how you doing? People kind of go, well, he said hi to me. <laughs> but no, it's all good. Now, people are very friendly and it's it's lovely. It's uh, And the, the food's great and the people, you know. Good. So, uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? You're a film actor and being a film actor for quite some time. Where are you from and what kind of films you've done? Wow, man, that's like a loaded question. Okay, all right, well, born and raised in Los Angeles, right? And now um, I live in Australia, right? And so, um, and the films I've been in, wow, oh, Lord. Um, I was in the Matrix sequels, um, the last Star Wars, uh, Revenge of the Sith. I've done, um, uh, I was in the Starter Wife. Um, so I've been in quite a few things. So now you're going to be doing a role in Iron Sky. Mm. What caught you uh, interested in Iron Sky? Did you know about Iron Sky before you were kind of invi invited for the casting? I had no idea. But then once uh, you know, I was contacted by you and your people, mm. uh, I did um, uh, start to research a little bit. And I said, well, that's an interesting concept. So let's give it a shot. Good. And uh, now that uh, you're with Iron Sky, what is, uh, can you tell me just briefly something about your uh, your character is playing a very important part in the in the film and it's uh, it's going through a, uh, a lot of interesting changes through the film, but what is the starting setup? Where do we begin? Okay, with? well, well, you know, I've, I've, as you know, I'm a bit shy. I don't like to talk about things like this, but actually I'm the first African-American astronaut to land on the moon. And uh, once I get there, I discover that uh, we're not alone. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, he will be playing a character called Washington, James Washington, uh, landing to moon and then finding out the worst nightmare African-American astronaut can find from moon, which is moon Nazis. Yeah, just about. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Um, what do you think? What's the biggest challenge for... I mean, you're an experienced actor. What, what do you think? What are the biggest challenges in this, this kind of project? Well, I think because of the concept, um, I think you can kind of um, sort of go off the rails. And I think the most important thing that we need to do, obviously, as actors and I guess as everyone else involved, is just uh, tell the story. Like anything, you just want to tell the story. You know, and as long as we stay true to that, I think we got a little something going on there. One of the most interesting things uh, in Iron Sky, uh, outside the movie it itself, is of course the fan community and the, mm. the whole big internet community thing. Um, what are your thoughts on that? What's, uh, what do you think that it'll, it'll bring to the film itself? Oh, the fans? Yeah. Well, the fans, that's why you make a film, right? You make a film for the fans. I mean, if you're going to sit there and just make it for critics, then, you know, basically you have about, what, maybe a uh, hundred critics that who's going to watch the movie, then you're not going to get anything. But the thing is, you do make uh, a film for the fans, for the people, right? And, uh, and I, you know, and from the response, which I was actually, as I say, I didn't know nothing about it. But then when you click on the internet and actually see, you know, everyone talking about it, I'm like, oh my God, I had no idea. And so, yeah, I think um, it's an honor to be involved in this. But also at the same time, you know, if we stay true to the story, I think people will thoroughly enjoy this ride. Good. Do you have some special message you'd like to give out to the fans? Something, something, something. <laughs> Just wait. Believe me, it'll be worth your while. Just wait. Thanks, Chris. And uh, we'll be back with Aronska Signal later on and to see uh, interviews by from Guts and Julia, the other two uh, main cast members, go and check out our YouTube channel. The address will be somewhere here, around here somewhere. <laughs> and uh, go and check it out and uh, we'll be back for more very soon.